Lovely gems. All right, guys. Today we have a challenge for you. Yes. Will you guys accept the challenge? Yes. yes. Challenge, challenge accepted. accepted. Okay. The challenge is you need to hear the sounds and guess what animal it is. Oh. Animals. Yes. Animal sounds. Are you ready? ready? Yes. Let's start. Okay. Oh, that's me snoring. We all play that. Oh. Horse. Horse. That does sound like horse. Yeah. Meow. 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 Is that you laughing, Pastor David? Monkey? What's it? Dog! Oh, oh chicken! Rooster! Mokusta! Go over like what it was from the beginning? Yeah, yeah. The first one was what? Cow. Oh, you're Jesus, and when they saw transfiguration, they realized that Jesus was Son of God. Mm. And through today's activity and quiz time, we're also going to find out more of God's truth. Mm -hmm. Let's pray before we go into praise time. Mm. Father, thank you so much for revealing yourself to us every moment of our lives. Help us to stay faithful. Help us to stay obedient to your calling and to the word of God. God, here we are to worship you. Help us to worship with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I've been trying to find it. Find the wild for this rebel heart. I've been coming up empty Can't find an ending if I had no start
de Jesus. 
Welcome to Fun New Year House. house. Hey. Hey. hey guys, have you guys went to Fun New Year House before? Do you yes. guys know? Yes. Yeah. I have. I yeah. have. There is a big mirror, and when you look into the mirror, you look kind of funny. Sometimes yeah. your head is too big, mm -hmm. or sometimes you get really fat or skinny. I want to be skinny. Like short. This. Me too. <laughs> I want to be skinny really much. Yeah. <laughs> so fun mirror. It shows fake, um, weird images of you, mm -hmm. but Jesus is. Like a regular mirror that shows the truth, that shows only the truth. So we're gonna go watch the fun mirror right now. So if you guys are ready, come follow us. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 안녕하세요, lovely James. Yeah. Lovely James. <laughs> Lovely James. Jesus is the truth. Hello. Hey guys, how are you? Mmm. What should I eat today? <laughs> Lovely time. High five. <laughs> in our lives? All right, you guys, let's pray together before we go into message time. Put your hands together. Let's close our eyes to pray. Father, we thank you so much for being the light in our lives. We saw the importance of light and the truth just now. And as we go through book of John, help us to remember that you are our truth. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Whoa, did you guys see that? The light came on. See, it was so windy today that the light and electricity went off. But after we prayed, oh my goodness, by the grace of God, the light came back on. Okay, you guys, let's read the word of God together. We're going to read John chapter 14, verses 6 to 7. Two verses together. All right, ready? Begin. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Amen. This Bible verse sounds very familiar to a lot of us, right? Because we sing a song called One Way and it goes, I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? And this refers to I, this refers to Jesus. See, Jesus is the only way to God. We don't have many different directions. There is only one direction. So meaning it doesn't matter if you do very good deeds. It doesn't matter if you're very smart and gets 100% in classes all the time. It doesn't matter if you're tall. It doesn't matter if you're handsome or pretty. It does not matter. What matters is the only way is 
through Jesus Christ. That's the truth that we're able to go to God. And right here in verse 8, it says, if we know Jesus, then we know the Father. And who's the Father? It is God. So if we know Jesus, then we know who God is. Remember, God is the Father. Jesus is Son of God. Do you guys know the Trinity, right? And also, you guys, we've been talking about truth here. And you guys saw the candle earlier. I brought it up here. It's, it's still lit up. I wanted to share this with you guys because, see, Jesus is like the light. See, you guys, when we are in the darkness, we can't tell what's in front of us. So when I wave my hands in front of you, you wouldn't tell that it's me. But when there's light in the room, now we're able to see what's ahead of us. See, just like that, when Jesus comes into our lives, he's the light and he will show us the path. And that is the truth. And he will take us to the Father. And we all want to go to where Father is because that's where we belong. Amen? Amen. So every time you guys look at lights or candles, I want you guys to think about and I want you guys to remember the truth, which is our Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for allowing us to uh, shine and really be in part of you. Father, we want to go to where God is. There isn't much directions or different path, but there is only one direction, one truth, and that is you. Help us to believe and help us to have faith in you. We learned today that when we know you, Jesus, we know the Father, which is our God. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. and Moses. We have it printed out, but for you guys, you guys can write it on a scratch paper or even draw pictures of Elijah and Moses, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this to Pastor Cho. Pastor David has two too. I'm going to ask you guys and pastors, and you will be answering the questions with either Moses and Elijah. So for example, when I ask, God used this person to spread the Red Sea. Who is it? It Me. is Moses. Elijah. It is Moses. Yay! We have nine questions for you guys. So listen carefully, and if and every time you get it right, you're going to give one point to yourself. Yay! All right, and we might have a bonus question at the end. Oh! Let's begin. The so first question is. This person prayed for God to send fire down on his sacrifice. Mm, Who is this fire. person? One, two, three. Elijah. Elijah. Yay. That's correct. It is Elijah. This person met God in a burning bush. Who is this person? Fire burning. Mm. Three, two, one. Elijah. Elijah. <laughs> No? It is... David? Moses! Oh, that's oh. Moses! I thought Moses was only using water. Yeah. Oh. Man. Next question we have. This person met God in a gentle whisper. Gentle whisper. Who is this person? Three, two, one. Moses. Elijah! I like it! Yeah. It is Elijah! Oh. Yeah! This question might be easy. God helped this person to spread the Red Sea. Who is this person? We went over this. Three, two, one. Moses! Moses. Alright! It is Moses! Five more questions to go. This person was hunted by a queen named Jezebel. 
Ooh. Who is this person? Three, two, one. Liza! Ding, ding, ding. That's Yay. correct. Right. Next. This person was chased by a king called Pharaoh. Oh. Three, two, one. Moses! Wow, perfect! This person, he used his staff and he turned it into a serpent. Oh. Like snake. Three, two, one. Elijah! Elijah. Oh no! It is oh. Moses. Moses. Good Moses. job, good job for trying. Next question. A woman and her son had never ending flour and oil because of him. Who is this person? Oh, three, two, one. Moses. The answer is Elijah. Last question is a bonus, so you will get two points if you get it right. This person went up to heaven in a chariot of fire. Who is this person? Three, two, one. Moses! It is Elijah! Oh, Elijah was the one. Lovely gems, as we play this game, some kids with Elijah and Moses, they were the faithful servants of God. So many people at that time, they turn around. They turn away from God. But these both people, their prophet Elijah and Moses, they will sincerely follow God, love God, and serve God. Remember, lovely gems, we need to follow the truth as they follow the gospel. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. See you next, next week. week. Bye. Bye. Moses.